This is the oldest standing firehouse in the city of Cincinnati. It's about one mile north of downtown Cincinnati. Walnut Hills was referred to as Cincinnati's second downtown. The community of Walnut Hills in the late 70s kind of took a downturn. People just moved out to the suburb. This building was left for dead about 35 years ago. This is a firehouse, ironically enough. There was a fire in here in 1977. So when I purchased this building, there was no roof on the back end. There's also a tree growing on the first floor. So it was in pretty rough shape. I came along, purchased this building from the city of Cincinnati, and now there's a pizza restaurant on the first floor, and uh, my sec the second level is uh, my home. And there was no second level back here, no roof. As you can see up in this beam right here, it's pretty much where the fire started. When this building was built in 1867, these massive beams were used to keep hay up top. The horses were downstairs. This was the hayloft right here. Is that because the fire truck was pulled by horses? Uh, yeah, originally pulled by horses, yeah. As you see the lockers right here, all that woodwork is original, minus the doors. You're looking at 155-year-old uh, lumber. These are the old lockers uh, that the firemen kept all their things in. Uh, the neat thing is this locker right here. Uh, I met the gentleman that was stationed in this firehouse, Fire Company 16. He was 90, he's turning 90 years old, and I met him last week, and he came up here, I showed him the space. So it was neat hearing his stories of you know, the layout and of all the funny stories of you know, all the pranks the firemen did. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much where all the firemen kept all their stuff. As you can see, now it's where I keep my things. Um, this one is uh, kind of a utility closet. We needed to punch through to the roof uh, for some air conditioning lines, some vent lines. So unfortunately, we could not uh, use that one as storage. So as I mentioned, all this is original woodwork here. Uh, this is new, uh, but it's just really cool to think of you know, the stories of the old you know, craftsmen you know, putting all this woodwork uh, in this building. Uh, they definitely don't uh, build them like this anymore. Then we can go back to the, the bedroom, as I call it. So we have a bathroom over here, laundry room, walk-in closet. Uh, this is where the firemen slept. The actual pole that they took from the first floor to the, uh, the second floor to the first floor, excuse me, was pretty much right here. Uh, my bedroom is up top here. As a little kid growing up in Cincinnati, having a love for the architecture and real estate, you know, the idea of living in a firehouse was really cool. pretty much break even at this point. You know, I view this building as a, a catalyst for the neighborhood, for this area. I mean, there's a big movement in Cincinnati and, and all over the country of people moving back into the urban core. Very walkable neighborhood for me. When I bought this building about a year ago, I ended up buying a building right next door from the city of Cincinnati and then two buildings across the street. What I'm trying to do right here is reach a critical mass of development in one area. That building is a wreck. As you can see, some of the bricks are gone. It's a bowing out. So we went in and demoed uh, to kind of figure out what we're getting involved in uh, when we start construction on it. Our plans right now is to have three residential, unit, uh, residential units up top and potentially either one or two uh, commercial spaces on the first floor. I want people to come to the pizza restaurant here in six months, eight months, when those buildings are being completed under construction, and say, wow, there, there is an impact. There are things happening here in Walnut Hills. Um, so that is the whole idea, you know, reaching that critical mass. This place was not what it looks like a year, you know, a year ago. It didn't look like this. I have a relationship with a gentleman here in Cincinnati that uh, is tied into the food truck scene. Just through buying a firehouse, uh, I, the name of the restaurant's Fireside Pizza, or the food truck name was Fireside Pizza. I was just like, what great marketing is that? You know, uh, Fireside Pizza in a firehouse. So I, I called him up, he walked in, I had my little spiel, hey, you know, we're gonna redevelop this building, redevelop all this, Walnut Hills is gonna be the next great neighborhood. Uh, he shut me up about 20 seconds into it and said, hey man, I get it, you know, let's do this. It was really that quick. Already full of people, they've been open for about two weeks now. 
the, the biggest task that I had when finding an operator for here is I wanted to find a restaurant that could, one, serve the community, but two, then bring outside people in that we could show off this neighborhood. My number one goal right now for this neighborhood is getting residents to move, move into this neighborhood. This is the Five Points. Uh, when I originally walked back here, it was more than a year ago, uh, did not look like this at all. There was this just nasty fence, there was all these nasty trees. Uh, this is pretty much in the neighborhood where people came to do bad things. So uh, through volunteering effort, we came in, cleaned all this out. As you can see, some of these cool um, uh, stone pieces were from a church that they demolished a couple years ago here in Walnut Hills, and we're using those as benches. beer garden the third Saturday of each month they have here and it's really neat to see people uh, hanging out back here. The community of Walnut Hills is a community that uh, the, the city has targeted uh, as a neighborhood. There's a lot of effort to uh, make this a very vibrant and walkable community again. And this is the coolest thing, watching people stop by and look in, because for 35 years there was nothing in here. And it's funny, I, I sit at the bar drinking beer and I just look out and seeing people's reaction when they walk by or drive by and just stop, it's, it's very, very, very cool.